Target main strength is defined as the design strength determined for the manufacture of reinforced concrete. Target main strength is determined by the formula Fm is equal to Fck plus 1.65 sigma, where Fm is target main strength, Fck is the characteristic compressive strength, and sigma is the standard deviation. In simple words, an M20 concrete implies a concrete with characteristic compressive strength of 20 Newton per mm square. But in real practice, in order to make a concrete with a strength of minimum 20 Newton per mm square, we need to design a concrete with a higher value. Only then, after all possible losses, if any, we finally get a concrete equal or greater than 20 Newton per mm square. A higher strength value more than intended is fine, but a lesser value is not acceptable. In the above equation explained, the quantity 1.65 sigma represents the margin by which the target mean strength must exceed the required characteristic strength and it is called as a current margin. If we need to design a concrete with characteristic mean strength of 30 Newton per mm square, what will be the target mean strength and the current margin to be used in the mixed design? If given the standard deviation is 6 Newton per mm square, in the question given, the target mean strength Fm is Fck plus 1.65 sigma is equal to 20 plus 1.65 into 6, which gives 39.9 Newton per mm square. From the question, we have Fck as 30 and the standard deviation as 6. After substitution, we got the value of target mean strength. The term 1.65 sigma is a current margin, which will give a value of 9.9 .9 Newton per mm square. After the analysis of numerous concrete test results for various projects, the strength of concrete falls into some pattern of normal frequency distribution curve, as shown. The characteristic compressive strength is defined as a strength of concrete below which not more than 5% of the test results are expected to fall. The compressive strength of cube samples although exhibits variation, when plotted on a histogram they are found to follow the bell-shaped curve, as shown. This means in common, all the concrete strength variation, the area below FCK is found to be 5% of the total area and area after FCK is 95% of the total area. This means the area below FCK is 5% of the total area and area after FCK is 95% of the total area. This means 95% of the test results give a value of strength greater than FCK and this is what we require in the definition of characteristic compressive strength. As the graph conveys, a failure of 5% is normally chosen for the concrete mix design and 95% of the samples must show a strength value greater than FCK. This can be only possible if we design the concrete using target mean strength. If we analyze the standard deviation values for normal distribution curve, we get the distance between A and B as 1.65 sigma and the mean of the curve is said to be at B. Characteristic strength is a lower limit of strength that is used in structural design, that is FCK. Concrete shows inherent variability of strength with all the design mix material, so we need to design the concrete for a main strength value which is somewhat greater than the characteristic strength. So this strength for which the concrete is designed is a target main strength, and in the graph the target main strength is at B, or in other words the main strength required is at B, which is OA plus OB, that is FCK plus 1.65 sigma. And the difference between the characteristic compressive strength and the target main strength is given by the margin that is 1.65 sigma. From the above explanations that I have told you, it is clear that we need a clear idea on standard deviation to obtain the main strength from any normal distribution curve. For an existing concrete production facility, the previous test results will help to emerge from a or emerge for a new one. But for those areas with less previous results and records, a standard deviation versus characteristic strength of concrete graph has to be referred. So based on the codes or the regulations or graphs that are recommended by the country or state. It is very much clear that the target mean strength increases with the increase in standard deviation. When there is poor quality control, higher standard deviation is used to obtain higher target mean strength to obtain the desired strength. Increasing the target main strength would increase the cost of manufacture. If you really want to reduce the standard deviation, we need better quality control and hence higher cost. So this hence demand a compromise. In UK, the value of standard deviation is mainly between 4.5 and 7 Newton per mm square. 
a value less than 4 newton per mm square is seldom obtained due to the behavior of different materials that are used for the construction of the concrete. So this is why quality of materials used in concrete mix design really matters the design strength. If you want the transcription of this video, the link to the website is given in the description below. If you like this video, let us know by liking, sharing and subscribing to our channel and sharing fanatics.